had a pretty bad new hood bird fail here when they were installing my new bird. Let me uh, put my original intro because I was doing a video on my new hood bird. Well, it is time to change the hood bird. I've had this hood bird for probably about 12 years from Phoenix Graphics. It's held up pretty well. One of the main reasons I want to do it, I just want to change things up a little bit with a little more of a custom design. Number two, in the middle of my hood here, I'm getting a little bit, I don't think I can make it show up, right here of some clear coat fading. Right there, you can see the light line, and then there's a little bit on the edge. Again, I don't think you can really see it, but I want to protect it. So I saw the year one Bandit version that really only works on black cars, and I found a place that changed the colors up on me a little bit and printed me on a new bird. It's actually a wrap place, so they can do whatever they want and uh, do the install. Whole thing out the door will be about $500, but that'll fix the uh, clear coat issue. Also minor things, I mean, forever I've been looking at, like there was a dog hair underneath right there. The bird is actually not fully straight. It's a little cocked to the left. And when the original place put it on, you know, when they were stretching and pulling, you can see the line here, it got stretched differently. And, you know, some little just, overstretched or overshrank. So little things like that. I mean, there's always gonna be flaws with a bird this big, but like I said, 12 years, time to change it up. Let's start taking it off. All right, so this is what happened. You know, when you do a wrap style bird, you have to lift, pull, stretch, and this hood is not easy to do with all the different curves. So as it was going good, the center came out fine where the clear coat was failing. I sanded it down smooth. You know, it looks, you know, you can see a little scuffed up. It doesn't matter, it'll be covered anyway because they all have black in between. But as they were lifting and stretching the edge, come over here and boom, the clear coat ripped right off my hood, right at the very end too. So after that happened, you know, that's all stuck to the bottom of the decal and you can't even do a new bird because once you have an edge, you know, and they're pulling and stretching, it'll probably just keep pulling it farther and farther back. So that kind of left me a little screwed here options are repaint my hood which is not very exciting or get a new hood so i did order a new hood i'll be having a bunch of new videos when i get the new hood unboxing fitment um everything i'll have to make a new night rider light for it you name it all right let me show you a they gave me an actual print of the bird so here is the print with the center cut out i want to to see how this is going to look on the new hood. It'll probably have to be resized. I can't put this one on because this does not have the UV protectant on the 3M wrap. So it'll fade really crappy. And um, it's just going to go on my wall anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, straighten out these edges. I just did a quick rough cut to get it ready for the new hood. But yeah, I think it would have looked really cool with the black in the middle with the flame style wings. Now, one thing I didn't notice because the way we did this is they... Uh, Designed it when I was sitting right there. The guy did this in an hour. It was pretty impressive how fast he designed this thing. But, you know, when you don't have time to really look at it and then later on stuff kind of annoys you. One thing I noticed is this flame right here needs to be a lot bigger and it should stretch all the way out, you know. So when you kind of zoom out again, you can see it almost looks like the wings kind of curve inward and then back out again. I don't, and that looks, I like the way it looks too, but I feel like it would flow better if those pieces on each side were a little bigger. All right, so what makes this hood really rare, it's aftermarket and it's not fiberglass. This is actually a fully molded plastic hood. It's the only hood I know of for these cars that was plastic. They were available from a company, the website was called ramairhoods.com and I think they were probably the first or one of the first ones that offered an aftermarket WS6 hood for these cars. I mean, you could buy them back when these cars were still new in dealership. As they, they used to advertise, you know, it's kind of like a Saturn body panel where it's fully plastic so it can't dent. It's lighter, you name it. And the fitment on them is really perfect. Since it is plastic, you know, it's not like fiberglass where you have to trim it and sand it down. It's a perfect fit out of the box. And what was really cool about this too is it actually came painted. Now, the fact that it came painted, the clear coat, it was good, but I wonder if that's part of the reason why my clear coat failed over there is just because, you know, it's not an OEM factory paint job. Even looking close up, probably can't see, but the clear coat is not the best finish really, really close. From a couple feet away, it looks perfectly fine. And it looks like it is starting to uh, fail a little bit here too, which I didn't notice before I got my new bird project. So, like I said plastic hood, it came completely painted, which was cool, it bolted right up. Now there's some positives and negatives to it. Now, 
Um, it doesn't have the little lines like a OEM WS6 hood. It looks a little thicker, probably because it's plastic compared to a regular hood. And it did use or does use the original OEM grills with the two screws, exactly like factory. And this car, they made this hood off of an actual hood, like an OEM hood. That's how they made their mold, the mold the plastic. Now they have these weird circles, like you don't really see them, you kind of see them right there. I wonder if they had something to do with how they flowed the plastic when they actually molded these things. Let me pop her open. All right, on the underside you have the similar holes, a couple different ones. Uh, there's one right there, you name it. Again, that might be how they molded it, I'm not really sure. They reinforced it with a steel plate up in the front where the latch and the release go. Same thing with the sides. Now, the one huge, huge negative, because this is a plastic hood, is you cannot use hood struts. It actually came with a prop rod. So there was a prop rod that went on, you know, your normal spot here, and then it actually had a hole right there that the prop rod would rest. And that was kind of annoying. And a couple times at a car show, wind gusts would pick the hood up and then it would go to slam back down. So I got these from uh, Mark Delisle when it was 6ledesigns.com, these race car style hinges, which are really cool. You just lift it up a little bit and you flip them forward to lower the hood and it just rests on itself to hold it open. Those, I probably had these for 10 years and they work great. So it said as for the hood, the actual hood openings are the same as OEM because I got an OEM black uh, smoke mirror kit for it. And everything else is the same. Even like they even had the same block off plate inside here, the same opening, you name it. You see, I had to trim a little bit there to get one of my old, old version Night Rider lights in there. I need to smooth that out a little bit when I take this off to sell it. <clears throat> but yeah, very, very rare hood. So if you've ever seen one of these before, let me know. I'm really curious. I've been going to car shows since 2005 and I've literally never seen another one of these hoods everywhere. And I'm always looking. I don't know how popular they were back in the day. They're no longer in business. Don't know when they went out of business. But yeah, very uh, rare hood for sure. Thanks for watching.